family, peace, and love. It's your boy Chris Light, and coming back again with some more spiritual biddles. And today I'm going in on magic. Now this is a good one, family. This is a good one. There's a lot of people out there that's afraid of magic. They're afraid of magic. They've been brainwashing to believe that magic is bad. Magic is tethered to Satan and the devil and things like that. I'm here to tell you, family, that magic is a gift from the gods. It's simply a gift from the gods. Magic has always been here. It's not something that was created out of thin air. It's something that governs our reality. Water flowing through a stream, that's magical. The wind flowing through the air, that's magical. The sun rising and the moon rising, that's magical. You being conscious... It's magical, family. Magic, magic is nothing more than using something hidden to get a desired result. That's it. A lot of books that people use, that they go out and buy all these magic books, books the magic was once real, but the source from which the, from which the magic comes from has been depleted. And that's why a lot of the magic books don't work that you go out and get. That's why a lot of the spells that you use don't work. Because people will take from the source, and when you don't give thanks and give back and pay homage to the source, it leaves. It simply leaves. I want to give thanks to the baddest magician I know on this planet, Dr. Mitchell Gibson, Tybro.com. I've invested in a bunch of magic spells and magic books from this brother, and uh, it's changed my paradigm. I wouldn't be doing this YouTube video. I wouldn't have all these tools on if it wasn't for Dr. Mitchell Gibson. Because he's the baddest magician I know. You know, I used to love David Copperfield back in the day, but that's just all, like, illusions. The magic that I do today helps me win. The magic that I do today helps me help my customers. The magic that I use today helped me write these books. The magic that I do today gave me confidence to make this video. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. In the beginning, it wasn't easy to get up here on camera and share myself with the world. Who is me? Who wants to see me? But now I don't care about that because I'm giving. I'm not worried about who's watching this video. I'm showing the universe that I'm here to serve and surrender and give light to the world. Give light to the world. That's what these videos for. It's not for me. It's for you watching. This video was created magically so you would see it and hopefully get inspired to do magic one day. That's what this video is for, family. You know, I don't know you. I love you. I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. But I just want to let you know magic is all around you and it always has been. It always has been. It's up to you to choose to partake in the magic. It's up to you to choose. Again, you can go my route, follow Dr. Mitchell Gibson, or you can make your own magic. You can do your own magic. We have the power through the law of mentalism to create anything we want in this reality. You can make a magical spoon if you empower it. If you empower it, if you learn words of power, or if you learn divine prayers, you can empower anything and make it your tool. Magic wands ain't nothing but a twig, it's a stick. But it's been empowered and it's powerful because they believe it. So the biggest magical tool that we have is our imagination. That's magic, family. The things you create in your mind, the things you envision, start just claiming stuff. Whatever it is, start claiming it. And don't just claim it to yourself in the bathroom with the lights out while no one hears you. Claim it to the world. I'm going to give you guys a secret. Before I started writing my books, I was telling people, yeah, I'm 40 pages in. Yeah, I'm writing a book about this. Hadn't even started. Hadn't even started yet. But I was telling everybody I was creating magic. I was confused, not confusing, but I was cohorsing the collective consciousness of others into believing in me. And I didn't want to let them down. If you tell a thousand people you're going to do something, if you like me, you don't want like no fool. So that's what I did. I gathered the collective consciousness of others to believe in me, and then I did it. It fueled me to win. It fueled me to win. So start claiming things. I don't care what it is. 
Start claiming it. Don't start claiming a billion dollars. Start little. Claim some sneakers. I'm getting those Air Force. I'm getting those whatever the nice sneaker is. I wear sandals and dress kicks. You know what I'm saying? So whatever it is you want, start claiming it. That's magic. Then once you get good at manifestation, you get your vision board, you become a master materializer and a manifestation or a visionary, then move on to other magic. Start creating the tapestry of your reality. That's all you have to do. And more than anything, believe in yourself. Have some spiritual confidence, okay? That's needed more than anything. Don't be too arrogant, but just claim it and give thanks and move on. If you focus on things too long, you'll be stuck focusing on it. Focus on it, know what's going to be, and move on. Simple as that. Simple as that. So on that though, family, I hope you got some jewels from this video. If you hadn't hit subscribe, hit subscribe. It's your boy Chris and Light, and I can be reached every Monday night on Twin Flame Radio with my lovely wife, Divine Queen. We're on every night, every Monday night at 9 p.m. on blogtalkradio.com forward slash Twin Flame Radio. Go to Amazon.com, check out my books, Wealth Consciousness, Poverty Consciousness, and The Enlightened Talk. If you want to smell like a god or goddess as you like to smell and get it all soaked up and dolled up, go to my wife's website, IamDivineQueen.com. She got everything on there to make you smell like a goddess or a nice smelling god. So on that note, family, it's your boy Chris Enlightened. Peace and love. Winning!